We are back and we are back and we are back at it again with another video. Hey. I'm the way. Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl D'Angelo and we are back at it again with another video. Period. So without further ado, let's jump right on into it. All right, y'all. So this look literally went bananas on Instagram. Y'all love this look so, so much. So I decided to go ahead and edit out a full eyeshadow tutorial and drop it for y'all on YouTube. Um, I did just also update my eyebrow tutorial as well with these specific brows. So if you want to see how I create these brows in detail, then I will leave a card up top to the eyeshadow, I mean the eyebrow tutorial. Now let's get into what y'all really here for. This eyeshadow look, like I'm so, so in love with this eyeshadow look, y'all. It really is like the perfect matte soft glam. Like, so I use the Juvia's Place Chocolates Mini Palette for this look. And I'm taking that dark, dark brown and I'm gonna place this in the outer V of my eye. And I'm just tapping that shadow on and then I'm gonna blend out the edges. When I blend out the edges, this makes it an easy transition for that next shadow color. The next color I'm going to be using is that bronzy reddish brown brown right underneath that same brown shade that I used in the first time. And again, we're tapping that shade on and then we're going to go in and really blend it out and diffuse those edges. Now I'm literally just going to go back in with those first two shades and we're going to build them up. So once you blend it, you're going to want to add that color back in so that you really, really see that pigment. So I'm just going to tap it on and then blend it out again. And I'm doing this really because I want that outer V to like be like dark, but not like really, really dark. Not like black dark, but I want it to be like dark brown dark, you know? So after I do this, I'm going to go ahead and take that lightest brown shade, that really nude tone, and I'm going to put this right in the brow bone just to really diffuse it out more so that it doesn't look too harsh underneath my brow. Next, we're going to do is take that same brush that we put our um, eyeshadow base on with, and we're going to kind of open that space back up more. Again, your shadows stick better to a wet base. So when you put more base on there, the shadows are going to have something to stick to. And then we're going to get into the eyelid. We're taking that dark, we're taking that reddish brown shade and we're going to place it on half of the lid. And then I'm going to take that light new beige shade, I guess. And um, that is going to be the main lid color. So that basically is um, how I achieved this eye look. And then I like to do, with soft limbs, I like to do a um, wing, but not a wing. So it's like more of like a half wing, a semi-wing, whatever the case is. I don't even know what the, what the hell they call it. But yeah, I like to do those. So I just drew that on and then um, set it with some matte shadow. Even though it is already a matte liner, I still set it with a matte shadow, with a black eyeshadow because it just gives like a really cute different effect to it. So yeah, that's how I really achieved this eye look. Um, I will just... Stop talking now, let you guys get into the skin, and I'll be back in the end. <laughs>
And one more thing, um, I know y'all probably like, um, damn, that's a whole lot of blush, but I was kind of trying to stick with the red tone, but then I had accidentally did the purple blush. Then when I put the red blush on top of that, it kind of looked like a lot, but at the end, I think it kind of brought the whole look together. So, you know, it worked out in my favor. <laughs> And now for my favorite part, this lip combo. These lipsticks are the Crayon Case Real Breakers Velvet Matte Lipsticks in the shade Fern and Hillary. And I am absolutely in love with this combo. It cannot get any better than this. I love a red lip. It is so, so perfect. And that basically um, concludes this look. I hope you guys um, love this tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You give me some thumbs up. And let me know what kind of looks you guys want to see next. I'm definitely going to start breaking down more skills, techniques, and looks that I achieve. Especially that I do on Instagram. That y'all love so much. So definitely stay tuned for those. And I'll see you guys in my next video.